Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here, and today, while experimenting with time travel, a group of scientist chickens accidentally opened an endless time vortex. Their lab and everything are sucked inside. The good news is, there's an escape pod. But the bad news is, only one chicken will fit in the pod, and there's a very small time window where the pod can escape the vortex. You're trying to be that chicken in the pod at the right time to escape. Chicken Time Warp is a time travel card game for 3 to 6 players, takes less than 30 minutes to play, and is for ages 14 and up. Today, we'll be doing a rule school where I'll teach you how to set up and play the game so that you don't have to read the rule book yourself. Now, I've placed timestamps below me in the description of this video just in case you want to jump to a specific section of the rules. Well, without further ado, let's get started. Chicken Time Warp is a hilarious elimination style card game for three to six players, where you'll be one of these scientist chickens. And you'll be tactically playing cards, trying to stay alive all the way until the escape window opens and play the escape pod to win. But you can also win if all the other scientist chickens have been eliminated and you're the last one standing. But you'll have all sorts of tricks up your sleeve, like peeking at other players' hands, swapping hands with them, forcing another player to lose a turn, demanding a specific card from a player, reversing the play order, and taking cards off the discard pile instead. And sometimes when drawing a card, you'll actually die, like killed by future grandchild. But you can reverse time and save yourself by playing the Clux Capacitor card, which allows time to go back three minutes, which can save you, but also bring other characters back to life possibly still leaving some eliminated. So let's see if you can time the playing of the escape pod at the right time or be the last chicken standing. To set up, first find the six character cards. Each player will select a character or you can randomly deal them out. Any cards not used if you're playing with less than six players can be put back in the box. Next, you're going to find the 11 timeline cards. These have numbers from 10 down to one and then an escape window open card. You're going to place them in one long line in the middle of the table, going in descending order from 10 to 1, and then the escape window open to the right, but then you'll flip them all face down. So it will look just like this. The rest of the cards will be the gameplay cards. They'll look like this on the back side. You're first going to remove all of the cards that on the front side of them have black backgrounds like this, and says time slips away and you dead. Take them all out of the gameplay deck for right now. You will then shuffle this deck up and deal four cards to each player. This will create a player's hand that they'll start the game with. They'll pick these up. They can look at these cards, but they never want to show them to anybody else. After each player has their four cards, the deck that is left that hasn't been dealt out, to this, you will add those time slips away and you dead cards that you separated out earlier. You'll shuffle all these into that deck. However, if you're playing with four or less players, you'll take two of the you dead cards out from that stack out of the game. If you're playing with more than four players, you'll keep these two in there so you'll have a total of eight you dead cards. Each turn, the minutes is going to count down from 10 to 1, and then the escape window will be open. The object of the game is to be alive when this escape window is open and play the escape pod from your hand on your turn, and you'll win. You can also win if you're the last one to be alive, even if you don't have the escape pod card. You can pick any player to go first, and starting with that player and going clockwise, each player that's still alive is going to follow three steps. Number one, they're first going to turn over the next timeline card. At the beginning of the game, it's going to be the one furthest to the left. It will say 10 minutes to window. Each one after that will be one less than the one to the left of it. So the next one would be nine, for example. So you're just going to turn the next one over that's not flipped over. Then you can play any one card from your hand. It's optional. You don't have to. Finally, you must draw one card into your hand, and you do this even if you didn't play a card this turn. Then, the next player alive that's clockwise to you to your left will take their turn. So let's go over what these different cards do. On your turn when you play a card, you play it into a discard pile that's next to the draw pile. When you drop cards, if this deck were ever to run out, you simply shuffle the discard pile and create a new deck. Stockpile simply allows you to draw two cards instead of one. 
Reverse will reverse the order of play after your turn's complete, so instead of the next player clockwise taking their turn, it'll be the next player to your right. And this direction of play will continue until somebody else plays another reverse card. The Cryogenic Freezer allows you to place it in front of a player, and they'll miss their next turn, because of ice, and at the end of their turn they simply discard it. Peekaboo allows you to look at any player's hands. You get to look at all of their cards secretly. When you play Mooch, you get to take the top card from the discard pile instead of the draw deck. So if I was to play this, I would pick this card up instead of this one, but then this would go in the discard pile. However, when playing the Mooch, you can never take either the You Dead or the Time Slips Away card from the top of the discard pile. We'll talk about more what these cards do later. Swap Hands allows you to trade your hand with another player, unless the player you're trying to swap with has the Swap Block card. They can play it immediately out of turn to stop that swap from happening. And to swap hands, you need to have at least one card to swap after playing the Swap Hands card. The Escape Pod is the card that you'll play to win if you have that card when the window is open, as previously mentioned. The Super Thief allows you to request a specific card from a player, and if they have it, it's yours, like you could have said, hey, give me the escape pod. If they have it, they gotta give it to you. On your turn, when you're drawing your card, which is the last step of your turn and mandatory, if you draw one of these You Dead cards, at the top it says play immediately after drawing. You must play this immediately, and you have died. And you'll place your character just above the timeline card that was for this turn. From this moment on, you're dead and you're eliminated from the game. You keep the cards in your hand, but if it does come back to your turn and you're still dead, it just simply skips you. But you can come back and you can prevent this from happening. Now a very important note is if you die and you have the escape pod card in your hand, you must pass that card to the living player next to you that is opposite of the playing order. Now keep in mind that the playing order can change directions depending on reverse cards that were played, but you're giving it to the player next to you that's going to basically be last in the current turn order. If when you draw this, you have a Clux Capacitor card, you can play this immediately and go back three minutes. This means it was seven minutes to window, you could flip the three cards most recently flipped. So this one, this one, and this one, which means this has not happened yet, so any characters that were dead from those three minutes will go back to those players and they're alive again. So for example, these would get flipped and Bucket would go back to that player. However, sometimes there'll be multiple characters that previously died as well. And in this case, these three would get flipped and those two characters would now be alive. They'd be given back to their player and they would be able to continue playing, but this player would still be dead because the time had still elapsed and this event really happened. But keep in mind, if the next player's turn, they drew a you die card and then they played a Clux Capacitor, they would have died, but if they played the Clux Capacitor, it would have saved them and it would have flipped over the three cards and it goes up to the 10 and this player would have become alive again as well. Also keep in mind, you do have the option of playing the Clux Capacitor on your turn and still reversing time back three minutes. Now there's one other card that you must play immediately if you draw it from the draw deck, and that is the Time Slips Away card. It reminds you at the top that says play immediately after drawing, where you'd permanently remove the highest minute card from the timeline. So in this case, the highest minute card from the timeline is the 10. This would be removed. And if there's any players that had died at that minute, they can never be brought back to life, so they are completely out of the game for good. However, in the rare case that the escape window open is the only card left in the timeline, if this card is played, it does nothing. It just goes into the discard pile because you cannot remove the last card in the timeline. And the game will end in one of two ways. Either when the escape window is open in the timeline, if you have the escape pod card, you can play it on your turn and win the game. Also, if all other players have died and you're the last one standing, you win immediately regardless if you have the escape pod card or not. Well, I hope this helped you dive right into Chicken Time Warp and get to the fun quicker than you normally would if you had to read the rulebook yourself. Now, if you have further questions about the rules, I've placed a link below me in the description of this video, and that's the best place to ask them since I'll be notified, but so will the creator of Chicken Time Warp.